In the last chapter of Mastering AMC 1012, we covered arithmetic sequences. We covered some very interesting examples. Today we're covering geometric sequences where there's a common ratio instead of a common difference. So geometric sequence has a common ratio. So the n term is just the first term times r to the n minus 1. And in terms of the m term, it's just r times r to the n minus m. Let's take a quick example. Two geometric sequences, a1, a2, a3, so on, and b1, b2, b3, have the same common ratio with a1 equals 27 and b1 is 99. a15 equals b11. What is a15? Well, first of all, what is the common ratio that's the same? Let's call it r. Then, what is the, what is the terms in a, the sequence A, can be represented as. Let's just zone in on A of 15. A of 15 is the first term, 27, times R to the 14. What is B of 11? B of 11 is 99, the first term, times R to the 10, because it's the 11th term. Let's do R four to the 4 equals 99 over 27. 99 over 27 is just, we divide by 9 on both sides, 11 thirds. We know r to the 4 is 11 thirds, where we want a of 9. What is a of 9? a of 9, well, the first term is 27, and the common ratio is r. So, it's 27 r to the 8. Well, we know r to the 4, so we can just square r to the 4 to get r to the 8 is 121 over 9, 1 to 1 over 9, times 27, cancel, cancel, 3 equals 363. Simple problem, we just plug it into the formula and solve the equation. Now the sum of all terms in a finite sequence is the first term times r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1, where n is the number of terms in the sequence. Be careful here, not the number of times you're multiplying the total number of terms of the sequence. That's a common error is to put n minus 1 instead. Let's take a look at this problem over here from the Amy. For r from negative 1 to 1, let s of r denote the sum of the series over here. If a is between negative 1 and 1 and satisfy s of a times s of negative a is 2016, find the sum of these two quantities. How do we do this? Well, what is this geometric sequence over here, or series, because it's a sum? Well, well, to do this problem, we'll actually have to use the infinite geometric series formula, because it's not a finite se series. The formula up here is the first term divided by 1 minus r, also sometimes written as a over 1 minus r. But this only works if the, if the rate, if not the rate, the the, co the common ratio is between negative 1 and 1, because if it's not, it will diverge and become infinity or negative infinity. Let's go back here, and let's use the infinite geometric sequence formula. Okay, what is S of A? Well, the first term, 12, over 1 minus R, because R is the common ratio times R. What is S of negative A? 12 the first term, but this time, the common ratio is, or I should actually have said, in this case, r is equal to a, so it's going to be 12 over 1 minus a. But in this case, r is negative a, so it's going to be 1 minus minus a, which becomes 1 plus a. The product, 2016. But this is the product. We want the sum. Do we have to solve for a? Nope. The key thing that we learned in algebraic manipulation, always keep your eye on what you're actually trying to find. What is the sum? 12 over a plus 12 over 12, 12 over 1 minus a plus 12 over 1 plus a. Finding a common denominator. Let's do 12 times a plus 1 plus 12 times 1 minus a. Aha! This is 12a plus 12 plus 12 minus 12a. The step cancels. We're left with 24 over 1 minus a 
times 1 plus a. So we know that we're trying to find 24 over 1 minus a times 1 plus a. We know 12 times 12 over 1 minus a times 1 plus a is 2016. We have to solve for a still, or can we maybe just look at what we have and look at what we need. First of all, 12 times 12, 144. These things look very similar, don't they? In fact, this is just 24 over 144 of this thingy over here. So this is just 24 over 144 times 2016. Let's cancel out a factor of 6 over here. This becomes 1, 6. 1, 6 of 2016 is 336. You can do this by seeing 2016 is 1800 plus 216. 1800 by 6. 300. 216 by 6, 36. Add them up, 336. That's the answer for this problem. To summarize, we just use the formula and then we looked at what we're trying to find and then we just found that. Okay, so next off, we have another problem using infinite geometric series. An infinite geometric series has a sum 2005. Let's say we have a and then a r and then a r squared and then a r cubed, so on. A new series, we're squaring every single term. And it has a sum that's 10 times more. So a squared plus a squared r squared plus a squared r to the fourth. Oh no, it's looking even more big exponents. Okay, first of all, what is this top sum over here? a over 1 minus r, simply by the formula. And this is 2005, right? What about on the bottom? On the bottom, it's the square of every term. The top, first term, a squared, the, the common ratio is r squared. So over 1 minus r squared is 10 times more. 10 times 2005. 10 times more than the sum of the original series. Now, do we notice anything about this over here? This thingy here. Specifically, I want you to focus on the denominator. Do you notice anything? Any factorization in particular? Well, a squared over 1 minus r squared. Guess what? 1 minus r squared is 1 minus r times 1 plus r, and that's a squared on top. So we can separate this and write it as a over 1 minus r times a over 1 plus r. We already know a over 1 minus r, that's 2005. And we know that this whole thing will be equal to 2005 times 10. So we know that this part over here is 2005. So that therefore, this part over here must be 10. That's wonderful. Let's, let's see what we get now. So we know this here. Let's move that over here. Whoops. We, we know that a over 1 minus r is 2005. And now we know a over 1 plus r is just 10. Let's cross multiply and solve our two variable equation that is left. a equals 10 plus 10r a equals 2005 minus 2005r. Look, they're equal. Now we just do 2015r is 1995. So r is just 1995 over 2015. Divide by 5, we end up with 399 over 403. The sum, 802, our answer, because we're asked to find sum of n plus n. 802 is our answer for this problem. And not all series are arithmetic or geometric. Some are special. They use special techniques and they often have to involve telescoping and some more interesting recursive equations. We'll check that out in the next video. You can check that out over here. You click on it right there. By the way, if you want to check out this free book, the link is in the description. And also make sure to like and to subscribe if you enjoyed this video.